since toy daycare is open, Mama Z is here. Today I will show you how I transformed regular Uma doll that I found at the store and reviewed a couple days ago on our toy daycare channel into this super pretty customized doll that looks like real Uma played by China and McLean in Disney Descendants 2. Make sure to watch this video till the end to see how I decorated Uma's pirate hat, how I braided her hair, how I did her necklace and her fringe shoulder piece, how I added this leather belt as well as this metallic netting to her skirt and how I decorated her pirate boots. So first of all, of course, you need Uma doll. Then I have this beautiful picture of Uma from magazine. I have two thin brushes glue gun with a glue stick. I have two different shades of gold. This one is called pure gold and the other one is royal gold acrylic paint as well as brown, black, blue and green acrylic paints and some decorations, some old jewelry, leather belts and stuff like this to add some extra details to our Uma doll. As you can see I almost finished braiding Uma's hair I'm not sure how many braids we have here and I wasn't braiding all the way because Uma has braided hair on top and kind of loose hair on the bottom. So I have this much left to finish braiding Uma's hair. I braided almost till the end, this much left and it's okay so you can just leave it loose and I wouldn't pick up too much hair. I think this is like really good uh, size braids. Who is ready for a great reveal of my brand new braids? Are you ready? Whoa, look at all my braids. I have so much hair. Next I'm going to decorate Uma's boots. We definitely need to add some acrylic paint as well as some details. I have this very very old coin earrings and as you can see, they come with chains and little coins. So I'm going to do like this. Here we go. And use these chains as well as coins as decoration. So here are my acrylic paints and here is my pair of shoes. And the best way to hold a shoe is to wear it with your finger. Like this. <laughs> paint on the shoes is ready. I just have to let the shoes dry and then we are going to be adding some decorations. Uma came with this plastic shoulder piece but in real life she has leather fringes going down her shoulders of golden and teal colors. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to mix green and blue acrylic paints since I do not have teal color and I'm going to add a few fringes to her shoulders. Now it's a perfect color. I actually added a little bit of a brown as well. And this is how it came out. I think it looks pretty good. I definitely like this way better than just regular plastic golden piece. Next I'll be working on this awesome pirate hat that Uma is wearing. So as you can see it's brown with some golden and copper colors, some skulls, details, stars, crap and net. Doll just came with this brown plastic pirate hat that looks a little bit boring. I'm going to be using my golden and copper and brown acrylic paints as well as these kind of beads to add a little bit of texture and decorations to Uma's hat. And of course, 
course, we do not forget about the back of the head because back as important as the front. And do not worry about the perfect lines. I think it looks better with this rough edges. I'm taking this diamond wrap and I'm just going to cut one line. So sparkly. Ta-da! Next step, you may want to ask your parents to help you because we are working with this hot glue. We are going to be applying hot glue right here on the edge of our pirate hat. Wow, this one is actually has already super cool golden sparkles. So that's pretty awesome. And then I'm just going to add a few spots like this somewhere maybe where the skeleton was and add single gems here and there just like this what a big difference now Uma's head looks like real one from the movie next I'm going to use the same glue gun and add a few details to Uma's shoes I think they look super cute and so realistic according to Evie's fashion book Uma has leather fringes on skirt as well as metallic netting for skirt. Uma did not come with a leather fringe, she just came with regular like fabric fringe and she does not have metallic netting on the bottom. But I have these old feather earrings that I'm not wearing them <laughs> and they're kind of broken and they have this really cool metallic kind of chain and netting. So I'm going to remove feathers and again if you do something like this you may want to ask your parents to help you out because these objects are sharp you may need some little bit of assistance here we go now it's nice and loose and I'm going to paint it with teal green and light brown color That's how they look so far, now I just have to let them dry and we are going to attach them to Uma's skirt. Unfortunately, I couldn't find anything close to this shell necklace on Uma's neck, but I think if I use the same chain with little coins as I used on Uma's boots, I think it will work just fine and it's gonna look like little necklace with chains and instead of shell, we're just gonna have a coin. All we have to do is open big loop on one side, wrap around Uma's neck underneath of her hair, connect it with the other loop and use pliers to squeeze it together and connect it. And here we go, here we have Uma's necklace. <laughs> I'm so happy the way it came out, I think it looks really really good. Again, I'll be using my hot glue. I'm not sure how it's going to work out on the fabric, but I'm going to try. Okay, and we're going to do the same exact little thing on the other side right here, a little lower. I am adding a lot of glue. Ouch, it is hot. Okay, now I'm just gonna let the fringe down and wow, I love it! <laughs> I think it looks so cool. So now when she moves, we see the little metallic net on the bottom. And meanwhile, I'll be working on Uma's leather belt. So I have this leather bracelet and this light beige leather bracelet and they're both broken. So I think I'm going to be using them has two of Uma's belts. I think they're gonna look really, really cool. I'm wrapping around this belt and now I'm just going to apply hot glue right here. And connect it. Hot glue did not work on this leather belt and this leather jacket for some reason. So I decided just to leave one belt because you kind of get the illusion of two belts because of this piece and voila! Here's our customized Uma from Disney Descendants 2 doll. 
I think I'm super happy with the final result. I love her shoes. I love the way her dress came out, her outfit, whatever you want to call it, her skirt. I love this metallic nets and her leather belt and her little necklace. Even though I did not find shell, I think I love these coins maybe even more because she's a pirate and uh, pirates love coins. And I also like the way this fringe came out on her shoulders. I love her hat. I think hat is my favorite piece for sure. I think all these decorations and these golden paints and little gems and stars and crab <laughs> look really, really good. And her braids look awesome as well. Now I'm super happy with this doll. And it took me quite a long time. So if you think I did a good job and if you like this upgrade, <laughs> definitely click the like button also please share this video with all your friends and let me know in the comments below if you would like to see more DIYs and projects more often on our toy daycare channel and also don't forget to subscribe to toy daycare for more Disney descendants videos and thank you so much for watching I'll see you soon bye bye if you like our videos please like share comment and subscribe to Toy Daycare. Thank you very much!